A girl named Sasha Putria forever went down in history as a talented artist, the author of many children's poems and illustrations, and this despite the fact that she lived only 11 years, six of which she struggled with leukemia. In her short life, this girl managed to do what many others could not do. That is why she is often called an indigo child, although, in fact, she did not possess any superpowers. Alexandra Evgenievna Putria was born in Poltava on December 2, 1977. Her mother, Victoria Leonidovna, worked as a conductor at a music school, and her father, Yevgeny Vasilyevich, was an artist. From childhood, the girl was surrounded by a creative atmosphere, so it is not surprising that for years she confidently held a brush in her hands and spent days on end drawing something. In general, Sasha developed much faster than her peers. While other children were playing in the sandbox, she was doing more serious things, reading, drawing, embroidering, wood-burning, sculpting from plasticine. Sasha's parents couldn't be happier with their girl's success, but when she turned five, they learned shocking news. It turned out that their baby was sick with leukemia and there was no chance of a cure. Doctors gave the girl only a few months, but her parents did not give up, they took her to various specialists and together visited the key of Petrusk Lavra, where Sasha received a blessing. As a result, the girl managed to live with her diagnosis for another six years. How is still a mystery? The father and mother of the unique baby sure that her talents gave her strength. Sasha had always painted before, but it was during her illness that her creativity peaked. Over the course of 11 years, this girl has created more than 2,000 different works. Among them are 46 albums with drawings, embossing, cartoons and poems, plasticine crafts, embroidery, beads and soft toys. In addition, young Alexandra even made several technical drawings, which, in her opinion, should have helped adults. But most of all Sasha loved drawing. She could spend several hours a day with a brush in her hands, regardless of where she was, at home or in the hospital. More often, the girl always drew self-portraits and sketches on a space theme. Sasha's friends constantly told her about distant planets. The girl believed that life also existed beyond the Earth. And that flying saucers move through space and they are controlled by the ancestors of Earthlings. One day, Sasha's dad told her a story about how he had a prophetic dream. In it, he and his wife were lying in a field and suddenly a star fell on them from the sky. They took her in their hands, when suddenly she turned into a chick. The man and woman took him to their home. Dad saw this dream a year before his daughter was born. In addition to space, the girl was also interested in Indian history. Her love for this country arose after watching Indian films. What she remembers most is the painting Disco Dancer. Inspired by her, she painted a series of portraits of actor Mithun Chakraborty. When the girl died, a portrait of her idol was placed in the grave with her. The parents said that their daughter has always been very demanding of herself. She could spend hours redrawing the same picture if she didn't like something. Once Sasha even painted an icon of the Mother of God for the restored Pushkarevskia church. Sometimes Sasha said things that were strange for her parents. One day a girl asked her the elephant was, which she loved to ride as a child, and was also surprised that she only had two hands, saying, where did all the others go? Shortly before her death, the girl painted one of her most touching paintings. Sasha traced her hand and her father's hand, and in the distance depicted several stars. She called this painting, Sirius. The brilliant girl died at the age of 11, leaving behind a deep mark in the memory of all humanity. Sasha was posthumously awarded the Gold Medal of Christ the Savior, the Order of St. Nicholas Yugodnik name, for the increase of good on earth the national prize of the All India Children's Association, Nehru Bal Samadhi, Kalasari Avid, and an ancient icon in a silver frame, Christ Pantocrator. From 1989 to 2005, 
112 exhibitions of her paintings were held in honor of Sasha in 10 countries. In the kindergarten where she was raised, they opened a museum with a memorial plaque dedicated to this unique girl. In Austria, a stamp and a postal envelope were issued with one of her drawings, and a children's art gallery named after Sasha Putri was opened in Poltava. Her father Yevgeny Putria says that he still thinks about his daughter every day. According to the man, they often meet with her, the girl gives him valuable advice, tells him how to treat diseases, simply communicates with him and calms him down it comes in difficult times.